why red pill dating works or does it in today's video i'm going to be talking about red pill and dating specifically so today i was watching some youtube videos just looking around and just looking at the big influencers in our industry and there and i've noticed because i read the bible i can see through a righteous lens and all these guys are super insecure because I've lived that life that they're trying to portray that is high valuable, being with a lot of women, doing this, doing that. And I'm going to show you exactly that I've lived it. And I'm here to tell you that all of this is BS. And I'm going to show you exactly. I have pictures, I have videos of me living that lifestyle. But I lived it and I can tell you that it's, it's due to insecurity, so on and so forth. Red pill advice is rooted in sin, specifically lust and pride. Let me show you my story. So let's get into it. So I have some pictures, so on and so forth. I just got these pictures real quick. So first of all, did I ever like go out to clubs and all this? I did when I was younger. I done all the things that these guys say is amazing it's like high value there's me pictures with like chicks you know nothing cool about that i blurred out their face for i don't know just for anonymous reasons right like all these gangsters you know like all that lifestyle that they tell you oh it's not it's me being in the club shirtless all that stuff What's this? At a festival. And like videos of me in like, okay, for instance, this. There's about 30, there's about 20 girls here and about three dudes, three, four dudes. Like I've lived that life. I lived that life. That all these men portray is high value. Like especially around this this time. With a bunch of girls. Like that's not a nightclub. That's that's our own. That was our like my friend's place. And there was girls always there. Like literally every day last year during the summer. You'd go there and there was always girls. There would be about 30 girls and about 5 dudes. Constantly. Like the things that you see like Andrew Tate. Like he has a bunch of girls. And I watched that. And I'm trying to look from a perspective. If I was super insecure, that would be like cool to me. But these chicks are dead. Like they're they're empty. Like you try to have a conversation with these chicks and they're empty. They're like soulless. They don't even know what, what they're doing there because they're super insecure. They don't know what they're doing there. And it really struck me when a good friend of mine, I went to him in London and you probably none of you probably know him i never mentioned him before he owns an email marketing agency he's younger than me as well but he's more successful in that end and i went to his house party and there was just a bunch of dudes like you know they have their own businesses i would consider them like righteous in a way and i remember there was maybe like few girls there but they weren't they weren't like slutty they weren't doing all that stuff and if you have a conversation with them, you can actually have a conversation with them. You can have deep, meaningful conversation. Just talk about specific things. But these girls that you see doing all those things, they're super insecure. They don't even know why they, what they're doing there. And this is why the red pill stuff works on them. Because it works on insecure women. Red pill is very manipul manipulative. They probably have like daddy, mommy issues and much more. That's why it works on them. And you see all these guys online. I don't, I'm not going to drop any names. But you probably know. When, like all these guys. They're very like insecure. Arrogant. Prideful. They want to have this aesthetic body. They do all these things. Self-righteousness. In the hopes of accomplishing these things. And I've lived it. And I'm telling you. That it's not nice. And I'm going to show you what you want to accomplish. You want to do it in a righteous way. Yeah, but Alex, why did God allow Solomon to, to have a thousand wives? He didn't. He condemned him. His ancestor then, then had 
issued, issues with lust. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. When you look at all these things through a, like a normal lens, oh, it's just you're just having fun, so on and so forth. But when you look at a righteous lens, where does it lead, lead to? You start hooking up. You st then you can't build a bond with a woman. Me just showing you all these things, and let's say a righteous girl, she's interested with me. Because she's seen I don't know these things, I'm already disqualified. I'm actually doing myself a disservice showing this video because an insecure woman, for an insecure woman showing that, oh, I have a lot of women, because she's insecure. That's why she wants you. But a righteous girl, she's like, no, this guy, is he compensating for something? Why is he with so many chicks? Is he compensating for something? So I'm actually doing myself a disservice showing you all these things. And I've lived it. But YOLO. I've, I've done it, so I'm going to show you so you don't make the same mistake I did. So, go find yourself a Proverbs 31 woman. So, I highly recommend you read King James Version. I'm going to leave a link to this document down below so you can read it yourself. And yeah, read it. I highly recommend it. Because it talks about the woman, a biblical woman. You really think... Like red pill works on high value women. Imagine she's not insecure. She had a good family. Her father ta taught her well. She has biblical principles. And then you go over to her. Try try your red pill advice of, you know, sending her a bunch of messages. Then stopping to build that emotional attachment. Then like bombarding her with praise. Then removing it. The first thing she's going to do is block you. Because she's like, this guy, There's, she, they know. They know what you're doing. And I'm going to make a video later this week about how people use red pill advice in business. And I'm going to talk about it and my experience, how I got scammed like 20, 20K. But that was like two years ago. But I'm going to go back to it because it reappeared appeared in my life. So I'm going to talk about it. So stay tuned. You want a traditional biblical woman while you're weak and, and manipulative. Why would God... A loving father curse a woman with you. Why? Why would he do that? You need to become a biblical man. If you want a biblical woman, you need to become the man that she would want. Me just doing all these, these things disqualified a lot of women for me. Because girls look at me like he's already done with, you know. I'm already, okay. So... I spent over five thousand dollars on like relationship programs, all that stuff, all a waste of money. All they talk about is all these weird tactics, manipulation, and all these things. But the the principle, what I learned to be have good body language, to be calm and collective, to be assertive. Oh, they'll be talking. Oh, you need to do this. You need to do that. And I think to myself, if you have high testosterone and you're high value, all these things come together naturally when you have high testosterone there's hundreds of st studies back in the soap and you need to use a righteous lens to break down everything you do so you need to master your health wealth and relationships using a righteous lens if i was to go back in time i would build my foundations on christ and studied relearning relationships so i highly recommend Getting this book, read this book, it's, it's written by a good friend of mine, Christian Kojil. He has a YouTube channel, I'll leave a link down below, and study his stuff. It's about building relationships in a righteous way, to un unlearning all this BS, because it's a joke. I, like, I wanted to focus my channel more on health, but I was just scrolling to YouTube and all these guys talking about hooking up with women, doing this for women, doing... Like, are you mad? Like, it's stupid, you know? It kind of... It annoys me in a way. Because it leads men astray. And, and these guys get a lot of views. And all these views come from very insecure guys. Because I used to make videos like that about 
you know, red pill. And I would get views. I remember on TikTok when I started, I would get half a million views on videos because it works. Because you make videos like that, insecure men watch these videos and they're like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to manipulate her. I'm going to sleep with her. It's stupid, you know? So, yeah. This is why red pill advice works. It works on insecure women. But if you're a righteous man and wants to have a wife, traditional values, all that stuff, it's going to take a while to build build yourself up. And don't, don't make the mistake that I did. And yeah, that being said, if you're trying to build your, you know, biblical manhood and you want to join my, because I have a mastermind and I talk about biblical manhood and I talk about all the things, foundations and all that stuff. I'm going to leave a link down below. You can book a call and we can talk about it and, I, and I'll let you know if, if I can let you in because it's a mastermind. The people make the mastermind. I can't let everybody in because it's going to ruin it. Because we are all collaborating together to accomplish this goal, which is masculinity. So that being said, see you later. Peace.